Let's see, can I go into overload? And when one additional charge target would be nice. Let's do that. I like my multi-target spells. You've also got five points. Maybe max out smuggler. As far as we can, I mean. Let's see, power damage and force or weapon damage. Let's do powers. Just because I feel like they don't always nail it with weapons, but their powers are good. There we go. So what do I want to put points into next, anyway? Because I might be able to just do it now. Let's see, Annihilation. That's just, that's the one that, that damages everyone nearby and, and primes them. Could be fun. Backlash. That's the barrier, which seems like it'd be really awkward and weird. I'm curious where this goes. So, you slowly damage people that are nearby. That seems problematic already. You're talking about being near your enemies all the time. So I don't, don't know about that. But maybe it does some really cool stuff. Reduces recharge penalty, right, because once you activate it, everything goes... Everything charges more slowly, which kind of blows. More damage. You can increase its radius or reduce the penalty of other powers. Enemies take more damage. Movement speed bonus. Shields restored. Unarmored, unshielded, normal-sized enemies are lifted into the air for 8 seconds. Each enemy can only be affected once every 15 seconds. So people just being near you get lifted in the air. That's actually pretty neat. That's 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 actually something I'd be interested in. Partially restores shields for all allies, including the user, within 8 me meters when an enemy affected by annihilation dies. Also pretty neat. I don't know, though. My, my biggest gripe is the proximity element. This is a really open, spread-out game compared to the other Mass Effect games. Most of your fights happen in giant open areas, which is why I carry a sniper rifle around, where I'd never used one in the other games. Uh, I don't think I, I don't know if I like the idea of proximity skills. I might just stick with my current skills, but I'll probably start putting points into the other things just for the sake of it, because it'll increase my passive bonuses. But my active skills that I'm going to use are probably maxed out at this point. Some of the victim's organs are missing. Ugh. Detecting traces of human flesh and blood. Sam, are you saying they were... eating people? Yes, Pathfinder. That's messed up. Great. Great. Great planet, Kadara. Definitely not full of horrors or anything. Are you alright? They were going to... eat me. I know. They brought a group of us here from the slums. Said we'd be safe. I'm the only one left. You survived. That's what matters. I'm not even supposed to be out here. I paid my protection fee. I know. The outcast who wrongly kicked you out of Kadara port, he sent me. Are they going to let me back in? At the very least. Grayson, I found Remy. We need a pickup. Thank God. I'll send a shuttle right away. Thank you so much. Thank you. There we go. But also, uh, fuck right off with this idea that we're just gonna leave her? What? I'll send a shuttle right away, and then we just walk away as she sits here in the blood-strewn cannibal house? We're just gonna leave. Seriously? No. <laughs> no. We teleport is ba like, if you want to make it convenient for the player and not, and not like, awkwardly require us to escort her back, then at the very least, like, just teleport us back to the warden and be like, yeah, here she is going over the border, she's back inside. Or even, like, like, say, like, oh, I'll stay here with you until they arrive, and then fade to black, and then fade back out of black and she's gone or something, and it's implied that she was taken by the, by the, uh, the shuttle. But right now, I'm just walking away, and I'm like, that's horrible. I would, that, I would never do that. Just walk away? Hope things work out for you. <laughs> Took care of the cannibals, what else could happen? Not like you've been through a lot, or might be losing your mind, or might even, like, be dangerous to yourself or something. Here we go! 
Mining field. What's down here? Oopsie. Pathfinder. This area can be mined for resources. Pathfinder. You, minerals, you just your opened your thing. Things. I will now tell you about what it does, even though you opened it on Damn. purpose, obviously. That sky is something else. The more I get towards the middle of this building, the better my mining gets. That's really weird. Huh. There we go. Let's mine this building. It's full of copper. Ah, 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 ah. I don't think that's supposed to happen. That was weird. That was really weird. Hey there. Die. What? How did I miss that range? All right. Boing. Could you just die? Please? I got stuff to do. There we go. What's over here? I just saw a giant mining area and thought I'd check it out, but there's like buildings and everything here. Curious. Is all this blood from one victim? Negative. I detect multiple sources. There's something here. That's our cost armor. Most of the data the has been wiped. Work. Can you recover anything? The audio from the final log. Shall I play it? Do it. If you're thinking this can't get worse, I assure you it can. Ah! Fuck you. Operative Lacerta. Where is he? Unlike you bastards, Sloane doesn't play with her food. So he's dead. That's unfortunate. Selim, outcast patrol inbound. Kill the bastard and wipe the logs. I'll report Lacerda's death to the charlatan. Meet you at the base in Draulir. Ah. In Draulir. We have a location mentioned. Multiple contusions on the face and arms. He was restrained for a lengthy period of time. Cause of death? A blast to the heart. He likely died quickly. I guess that's something. There has been some shit going down here. What's going on with that? There's supposed to be like crates? They don't look. Yeah, they're not underground. Look at that. You can tell the crates are above the surface. The silhouettes of these of these uh, crates are clearly above the floor, because you can see it, the silhouette goes over that stuff over there that's above the floor. But when you highlight it, it just says blood spatter? Oh my god. Talking about the general lack of polish of this game? You know what's getting here, you know what's happening here is that <laughs> they wanted you to be able to scan the blood spatter, but they didn't know how to make the texture something you could scan. So what they did is they made a bunch of invisible crates on the blood spatter and then you highlight when you point it at when you point the thing at the crates it then it call it calls that blood spatter this is like a trick you would do in a level editor like if you're not someone making the video game you would like make an invisible object that would cause a certain trigger holy crap there are a bunch of invisible crates that you scan for the blood spatter whoa Whoa! That's like a Gary's Mod trick. <laughs> That's like a trick somebody does when they don't have all the tools and they're like, trying to finagle a solution out of something. That's... Whoa. It's so transparent what they did. Weird. Weird. I had my issues with the opening hour of this game too, but... This area it didn't... It generally resources. felt more finished. You can extract minerals by your mining interface. Got an outlaw camp ahead. We sure do. I wonder what we'll find inside. Is there any? I don't think. I don't think I'm even here for a mission right now. Nope. Just kind of checking this place out because it exists, and I just sort of found it. And I'm just curious because there's clearly scannable stuff around here. I feel like I'm progressing in a quest that I don't have, which is weird. Maybe it'll send me here later and I'll have like certain objectives pre-completed. Or maybe I'm breaking the game and it'll never and I won't be able to do the mission later or something. Just wanna poke around up here. 
What you guys got in here? This is a nice apartment for a bunch of outlaws. This seems like- this is like an official Nexus apartment building. Like the ones we use on our outposts. So why did the outlaw- how were the outlaws able to get stuff this nice? Dang. I guess they've been stealing really well. Nope. Oh. This must be like a whole pirate port. This is the specific location where the game looks the most No Man's Sky. <laughs> is this big flat port in, in this like... blocky... environment area. Brings back memories. Man, I am probably never playing that game again. <laughs> Some people ask me to still, because I just kind of stopped one day and never went back to it. I don't think I'm ever going back to that game. Oops. I think we're clear. Uh, G. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals by your mining interface. Yeah, you've already told me that several times today, Sam. I understand how to play the game. I need your copper. It needs a strong word. Your copper exists, and I like to take things. <laughs> Not a better spot, really. Yeah, it seems like every direction I go in makes it go down again. Oh well. Hello. Other animal that's also standing still. More copper? More copper? Is it up here? Yeah, it is. Oh boy. Oh boy. Probably as high as we're going to get it right there. There's some copper. Covering this whole place in orange rings. Whoa. Hi. Friends. Friends. Oh, sorry, I wasn't looking at the meter. Get that aluminum up. I don't get that one as much as I don't. I don't think. There we go. I'm not really interested in fighting you guys right now. Bye. Just taking all your mining resources, which I'm just plonking on the ground. Even though you're just gonna take all my stuff when it's mined, obviously. Like, why would you let me take your stuff? So obviously. I'm, I'm basically just mining the stuff for you. Oh, wow. Have been depleted in this location. I think that's the first time I've made it all the way to depleted in this game. Neat. This seems to be more or less a dead-end crater. I take it I can't fast travel because I'm in combat. Alright. Guess we're gonna have to kill some dudes then. It seems like it's time to leave. Woohoo! <laughs> Bye, Nomad. I didn't really target anyone, did it? We Taking you out, taking you out, everyone dies. I like my dumb little Tesla gun, it's fun. Hello. There we go. Anyone else? <laughs> That's where the Nomad landed. That's great. What a gloriously awkward position for it to land in. Oh, cool, I'm stuck. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, this is me hammering WASD and space bar. Let's try middle mouse. Alright. Yeah, this game's really finished, is what I'm taking away from this. <laughs> Everything works all as intended all the time. Hey, where's that one guy? If I, could sh if I could charge him, I'd get out. Now let's try to get in the Nomad. There we go. <laughs> I think my favorite part about this game is how everything always works, and it feels like a finished AAA project that uh, had millions of dollars poured into it. <laughs> Alright, back to where we were before I kind of warped down here to cover that dead end. Stole the Angoran satellites and destroyed the search vessel. What are the odds they'll surrender peacefully? Less than... One percent. So that triggered the same... That was weird. Oh, there's a, there's a memory trigger up there. The Angarn Relic. We're supposed to look for that, too. So we just triggered that, uh... 
that dialogue from a while ago where like that we're approaching the people that took the satellite. We have a less than one percent chance of being peaceful. Best as they can be. We need better than that. Lives are on this. No shit. What's weird about that, of course, is that I already took out that entire place and we've already played that dialogue, so like it doesn't make sense in context anymore. Yeah, these, this, these seem kind of ignorable. It's, it's, there's an Ungarn relic, which we're also trying to get the ones on the other planets, like a collectible more or less, I think. Memory trigger, yeah. I'll probably go grab the memory trigger like off camera or something. Let's go to the crime scene. Let's go that way. Right, I was sitting there trying to hit M to ex exit the map and I forget that if, even though M opens map, it doesn't close map. Weird detail. Is this a uh, remnant? Oh, weird. Yeah, it's like a remnant platform, but without all the other adornments and like pillars and stuff that are normally surrounding them. Interesting. Fly! Oh, disappointing. It immediately loses the ability to move once it hits that kind of thing. Which is weird, because the drive level shouldn't really matter. It's sheer momentum at that point. There's some more remnant. Oh yeah, there's just remnant on this planet then, huh? You guys have fun duking it out, I'm leaving. Whoop. Everything's fine. Check the map real quick. I want to be sure... Because sometimes there's like a, sometimes a new quest pop up. Don't want to go speeding past them. This technology is not registered to either of Kadara's factions, Pathfinder. That's interesting. Ooh, there's the crime scene up there. So I, I have to loop around. So let's go here then. Better crafting. Oh, <laughs> hit a little bit of a slope, and all momentum is lost. Scutter. Get any closer and I'll hit you with a corrosive bomb. Who? Killed two looters today already. You want to test me? Whoa, hey, we're no outlaws. We're friendly. Then come prove it. Slowly. I literally would never have noticed you if you didn't start shouting at me and threatening me. Got all. I was driving past you. Got them all. We weren't in fight. We weren't, we weren't in a fight, dude. He just like to randomly shout, got them all in 10 minute intervals for no reason. Well, you definitely don't know like an outlaw. Good thing I disarmed the traps. Sorry about that. I'm used to your kind giving me trouble. What's my kind doing? The usual. Trying to rob me, messing with the remnant, shooting at my people. Not all of them, of course. But enough to make me shoot first. You said you had traps around here? Corrosive traps. Made them with the gas from the vents. That's smart. You have to get creative out here. I learned sabotage when shooting stopped working. I can disable vehicles, take down shields, anything that gives us an edge over attackers. What are you doing out here? Keeping my people safe. Between the Ket and the Outlaws, we've been pushed out of our homes. Some decided to dig their heels in and weather the attacks. I'm making sure they survive. The Resistance could use someone with skills like yours. We have enough to deal with here. I'm not leaving my people. Besides, what does a human know about the Resistance? Stay safe out here. No problem there. So you just camp out in this tiny corner and just hope nobody attacks you? Have you considered going to a more remote location that's not... the main road through this entire area? It's the only thoroughfare for anyone that's not flying. Which admittedly, everyone seems to do besides me, so I guess... maybe that's not completely unreasonable. I got some upgrades for your sidearm lying around. Interested? Good, thanks. If you're worried about the cost... I said I'm good. Don't be a shit, Costa. You don't have to like me to accept that I want to keep you alive. You live, I live. That's how it goes. There. Look me up. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. 
You can extract minerals via your mining interface. That's the like the fifth time today he's told me that. Oh boy. I like that those two I like the I like the interactions between between Liam and Vetra. Where they just blatantly don't get along. Like it's it's amusing because like they it's a bunch of people that are grabbed independently by some leader in an RPG, like they're not gonna get along. And that's that's often a thing. There are often characters that don't get along in Bioware games, but they just are so openly pissed at each other so often. That's kind of great. Holy crap, we're taking some damage. Okay, pop, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh. Tried to get out, didn't quite work out. That was some fast damage. Where are we? Same place? I think? Let's see. Oh, I di I just died looking for drink ingredients. <laughs> Worth it. There it is, right? Are you the one? Oops. No. That. Ah. No. What are you beeping at? Seems something's over there. Oh, that's that's probably it. That glowy thing over there, or maybe that. Oh, we took the sample already. Weird. If I scan this, it's instantly a sample in my inventory, and I don't pick it up. But when I do this, but when I do the other plant sample quest, the one where you get ten different plant samples across the galaxy, you don't. Uh, you do pick it up. You have to- you have to actually go grab it yourself. Whereas when I do these scans for the hops quest, you just scan it and you don't pick it up. And I, w I wonder why there's a difference between the two. In both cases, I'm supposed to be taking a sample back, but you only actually have to loot the sample in one of them. Just seems like an inconsistency of, of mechanical s storytelling. Ah, shit! Ah, stop that. Everything hurts. Anyone else? Anyone else? Oh, there goes all their there goes all the shields, I guess. What am I scanning for? I'm not getting any research points from scanning. But there's a lot of stuff highlighted around here like I'm supposed to scan it. But it's not for a quest, and it's not for research points, so it's just like... I'm just clicking on stuff, I guess? For the sake of it? Alright, now we're looping back around so I can get upstairs. There we go. Ooh, there's two memory triggers right here. What's that? Some cave that points off towards... important stuff. Probably how we terraform this planet, I would guess. This map's... I'm, it's starting to look like I've done a lot of map completion already, despite the overall, uh, overall lack of viability accomplished so far. Gotta go back to the Nomad. This might be a quick one. Yeah, this might this might be a shorter planet than the other ones, more akin to like the jungle planet. I'm trying to remember the general. Relative length of some of these places, I guess. Where is that? Oh. This area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. So I can mine right here. There we go. Er, crap. I kind of drifted down faster than I meant to. Where's the radius of this place? It's over here. So if I go left, I'll still be in range. Okay. Let's poke around a little bit. Whoa.
Getting a little fast and loose with some of these. It's fine. Perhaps that's enough for now. Let's look into this memory trigger. We start digging. Hopefully there's a way down. But we're gonna need a really big drill. The monoliths. How close are those? Don't fail me now. Yeah. Oh! Not intended. <laughs> I mean, it's my fault. That's how momentum works. How, how did these memory triggers know to be in weird scenic locations on these planets that my dad never visited? Another eidetic trigger, Sam? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. How tragic would, would it be if, if uh, the Pathfinder died trying to pursue a memory trigger? Like... Just the dumbest possible way to die. He's like, yeah, my dad created a weird, like, escape room style, like, clue puzzle thing and scattered across the entire world so I could find out about my family. Then I fell off a cliff and died. The end. That was the end of the Pathfinder story. Got a corpse over here. They're always, they're always dumping people in these holes over here, huh? Not very nice. Another mineral spot down there. I'll, st I'll stop at the corpse, I think, for now. Let's go get that. Oh, oh, whoa. There we go. Everything's approximately fine. There we go. Someone's shooting at us. Not, not doing a very good job at it, though. Oh, there's the body. Another murder victim. I have locked the relevant information. Don't slide down. Don't slide down. There we go. Oh, they're not shooting at me, they're shooting at one of those guys. Watch out. Just a coincidence. Look at that outright outright war going on down there. Okay. Oh, another corpse is right back there too, next to the other memory trigger. Go figure. That is... camp has a high concentration of registered criminals, Pathfinder. That's fine. I'm not here to clean up the entire goddamn planet. That's what the pol that's what like police forces are for, or something. Is there a cave nearby? I'm probably supposed to scan. Oh, not recognizing the branding on your kit, Vetra. Custom augments. Huh. Kinetic redirects. What I need doesn't come standard. Holy shit! All right, I'll look at that stuff later. Seems like there's a remnant site that you could work with later. For an initiative outpost, Pathfinder. However, for any long-term success, you'll need to find a solution to Kadara's water toxicity problems. Exiles are also a problem. Sloan will shoot down our shuttles before we can start building. What about the charlatan? The collective's gaining power. We do not know the charlatan's identity. Sloan may be our only option. Kadar could offer insight. There's one of you. Hello. Sam, another memory trigger? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. Couldn't even make it one trigger per memory, huh? Here we go. Is this one of the bodies? Nice day for a stroll, huh? Don't mind our friend here. He's uh just tired. Needed a little nap is all. Be good as new. You are the only people on this planet that try to hide when you murder people. <laughs> Everyone else just does it and you're like, Yeah, we're murderers, haha, <laughs> yay! Killing all the people. Do do do. That should do it. We found all we can. Let's get back to Cenaris. Where- so we- like, whoops. So we can't like confront these people or anything? Oh! Yep, no! Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Pathfinder is just- Decked out with the best material ever. Dip corner of one foot into a little water for half a second, almost instantly dead. Boom. Oh, shit. F and G are right next to each other and it's really causing me some problems. Or G and H, I mean. Maybe I should try to remap H since I never use it. Don't really want to search for it right now, though. Are you trying to do jumping jacks? Like, yep. 
and acting natural with our murder Turian that I'm walking on and jumping on. Are you jumping on him to make... You're not gonna bury him in the rock by jumping on him. You gotta use a shovel first and like dynamite. It's, it's rock actually. You should probably put him in the acid pool. It's probably a better idea. Okay, seriously, why can't I confront the people that are dumping bodies? I'm doing a mission where I investigate dumped bodies and I can't confront the two people I find that are actually dumping bodies? What the hell? So I'm mo the reason why I'm especially confused by this is because a very, 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 very common trope with like Witcher and Bioware games and a bunch of other games like this that are like open world-ish RPGs and stuff is that if you, you'll go to a bunch of different locations for a quest, like, oh yeah, collect these five things. And then when you get to the last one, there will be an NPC there that's the one that's responsible for it all, and he'll automatically be placed at the last one you go to. Like, that's that's a really standard quest design. So having people dumping bodies at the last body scan site I go to, and having that not be any sort of interactive thing is super weird by that standard.